When I started in this business way back in 1989, everything was very expensive. The word affordable and production really did not go together. Well, everything's changed these days. We have affordable cameras, we have affordable editing systems. You can really do a high level of production without spending a fortune. Now, thinking back to when I started and all through the 90s and early 2000s when I was involved in television, just to get a teleprompter cost an absolute fortune. They were big, they were cumbersome, and they weren't very portable. Not only that, you had to plug them into the wall just to make them work, which meant that if you wanted to do work on location with the teleprompter, it could be very difficult. If you didn't have power, you just couldn't make it work. Well, I've got three teleprompters in front of me. These are all made by Data Video. Now here, we have one designed for DSLR type cameras. This is a TP500. TP300 designed for handheld cameras. Sony EX1, Panasonic HPX250 size cameras. And over here, for full size ENG cameras, shoulder mounted cameras, we have the TP600. Now what's fantastic about these teleprompters is they're easy to set up, they're light, and they're affordable. I would go as far to say that to buy any one of these prompters will cost you less than it would cost to get an operator with a teleprompter out on location for a day. So what I want to do in this video and the videos to follow is to run through each of these and show how easy they are to set up, show how manageable they are in terms of portability, and just show how easy they are to pack away and take wherever you need them to be. And basically, with any one of these models, you've got an affordable teleprompter system that you can take anywhere and use on location or in a studio environment. Here we have the TP500. This model is designed for DSLRs. If I just swing it around, you can see DSLR fits into place. We've got the material, which stops any stray light getting in, the hood, and it's just a simple bracket, which supports the whole camera and the teleprompter. And in here, you would fit your iPad into this bracket down on the bottom, and you've got the reflective glass, which is basically a mirror on one side and see through on the other, which means a proper teleprompter system. So you can see how small it is, you can see how manageable it is, and it's really easy to set up and easy to work with. This is a TP300, which is designed for portable cameras. If I swing it round, you can see camera fits into place, bracket supports camera and the teleprompter unit. Push it back this way, you've got the black material to keep out any stray light. The all-important bracket, this is where you put your iPad or your Android tablet, whatever device you might be using. And the all-important translucent mirror, which is absolutely critical. Because if you don't shoot through a translucent mirror, it's very hard to get that look looking straight down the barrel of the lens. Now there are ways to fudge it, but really you don't want to have to fudge it, you just want it to work right and looking straight through the mirror is what works best. Now, the other thing I'll say is that it's quite simple to actually just take the unit off. Now, as you can see, I could, if I wanted to, have this on location, and I could actually be shooting and managing this handheld while I'm walking with the journalist or while someone's presenting to camera, and it's really not heavy. I'm not struggling in any way to hold that. And I find it very exciting, the idea of being able to shoot on location with a device that's as portable and manageable. And you can basically shoot handheld off the tripod or a jib arm or whatever it is that you choose to use. It's also possible to use a TP300 in a different mode. If we take this entire frame here, which is what we built the prompter around, we turn it the opposite way, and then you take the frame that holds the tablet and you attach that vertically. It actually attaches with a thumb screw below, and it enables you to put the tablet off camera. The big advantage is that the presenter can refer to notes without staring down the barrel of the camera the entire time, which sometimes can actually provide a more natural way of presenting. And this is the biggest of the units in the range. This is a TP600. Now, you can see it accommodates a full-size ENG type camera, shoulder-mounted camera. You could even get bigger cameras on this if you needed to. And the design is very similar, although the plate is much bigger on the base, which lets you get the bigger cameras on board. 
the rest of it, as we've already discussed, you can put your device here, the Android device and iPad just fits into place. And then the black to shield out the light and a nice big piece of glass, which gives you the added advantage that you can get more text on the screen. So you might want to use this one in a studio type environment on location. Traditionally, when you got a camera that big, you would never ever get away with an affordable prompter, but this makes it all possible. I struggle with expensive retakes, on stage talent drifting off script or a presenter's loss of eye contact with the viewing audience. The Data Video Prompter Kit, the TP300, also the TP500 and TP600, they are all designed to help you overcome all of these problems by converting a tablet computer into a low cost and effective prompter. The Data Video TP500, the TP600 and the TP300, these prompter kits can be used on location, they can be used in studio environments, they can be used with DSLR cameras, bigger cameras, mid-sized cameras. Your prepared scripts can be easily copied from an app into an email.